All right. So once again, uh, I, I said that throughout your life, you yourself will remain your greatest project. The goal is not to be better than anyone, but to be better than the person you used to be. You are your competition. Try to outperform yourself. Usain Bolt kept outperforming himself until now. No athlete has been able to break his records. 15 years, right? So I was asking, uh, I was saying that uh, why should we focus on self-improvement? Number one, enhanced confidence and self-esteem. It improves your self-confidence. It improves, it improves your self-esteem. You know, it's like a car that, is, that you have not serviced. The moment you service your car, you change the tires. It feels like a brand new. That is what self-improvement is. It improves your uh, self-confidence and self-esteem. Number two, improved relationship and communication skills. Number three, increased resilience and adaptability. Number four, better decision-making and problem-solving abilities. Number five, you experience greater purpose and direction in life. And number six, continuous learning and skill development. I'm going to run because I have limited time. I have another meeting by 8.30 or 9. And you see, when you compare yourself to your past, there is power in it. However, rather than comparing yourself to your past, people compare themselves with another person. And when you do that, three things will arise. Number one is unhealthy competition. Number two, feeling of inadequacy or superiority. Number three, distorted self-perception. However, when you compare yourself to your past, number one, it encourages self-reflection and growth. Number two, it fosters a growth mindset. Number three, it helps you celebrate your progress and achievements. And number four, it helps you also develop self-compassion for yourself and patience. Strategies for self-improvement, Number one, you want to seek feedback and mentorship or coaching. That is one way to improve. Number two, you want to cultivate gratitude and positivity. Number three, embracing challenges and learning from failures will actually self-improve you. The last but not the least, which is, which is the most important, is that you create a personal development plan. Failure to plan is planning to to fail. So that's just my uh, pep talk for today. Thank you for listening to me. So let's go to today's conversation. Today's conversation. Uh, let me get the slides. And I've also decided on something. All the webinars, you know, I don't release them. For this particular one, I'm going to release it. I'm going to upload it on YouTube so you can catch up. If I'm fast, you can watch at your pace. I think I've done well. Are you happy with me? I just want people to get it right. Yes, sir. Right. So yes, sir. Have, Thank you. You will have this on YouTube. Please confirm that you can see my slides. Yes, sir. We can see your screen. All right, thank you. Yes, we can see. Thank you. So, once again, if I'm fast, remember I have another meeting. Then number two, I've promised you I'm uploading on YouTube so you can watch at your pace on YouTube. Okay. So we're looking at 2025 success blueprint, turning goals into tangible outcomes. My name is Dr. Shogo. Welcome to our weekly webinar. Like I said, we started this webinar series in August. We had webinars all through Sundays, all the Sundays in August, all the Sundays in uh, September. We're in October. Let's hope that we will have webinars all through the Sundays in October. I'm not promising. If you are meeting me for the very first time, my name is Dr. Shogo. I'm a personal performance coach. I help people improve their performance. I uh, help them amplify their results, right? If you're feeling stuck, I'm the go-to person by the grace of God. I'm a corporate trainer. I've uh, trained organizations cutting across manufacturing, oil and gas, um, shipping, aviation, telecoms, banking, just name a few. I'm a member of Forbes Coaches Council, which is uh, a global platform for 
internationally recognized thought leaders and coaches around the world. I'm a personal advisor. I serve as personal advisor to high net worth people, CEOs, captains of uh, blue chip companies and top business owners. I'm a conference speaker. In my little life, I've spoken in over 13, 14 countries. And this year alone, I've spoken in over four countries physically. I'm also a life and business strategist. I have consulted for over 500 small businesses across Africa. We are going into 2025. And um, this webinar is for my tribe, is for my community people. When I say tribe, when I mean community people, I have a curated community on WhatsApp where I teach for free. And these WhatsApp are in 56 clusters, cutting across different countries, different cities in Africa. So when I say community, that is uh, what I refer to. So I host this webinar majorly for my community and their friends. So it's okay when they invite their friends. All right. If you don't belong to any of our community, you might consider joining. I will share procedure. It's free. I will share procedure with you after the webinar. So I want to jumpstart our thoughts to start uh, visualizing and projecting into 2025. It is an aberration for people to wait till December 31st before they start thinking or before they start uh, accepting the reality that a new year is around the corner. 2025 is not next year anymore. 2025, 2025 is just about 80, 85 days thereabout away. It's just some days away, 85 days thereabout. So we need to wake up. We need to plan. Everything is created twice, first in your mind before it becomes your reality. Media mentioned, my thoughts have been published on Forbes magazine. I've been profiled on Tribune, uh, Channels TV, Kenya Television Network, Botswana TV, LTV, just to mention a little, right? Now, the landscape is dynamic. That is what I want us to know. If you approach 2025, the way you approach 2024. Trust me, you're going to get the result of 2024. Old keys don't open new doors. So the, land, uh, the, the landscape is very dynamic. That is, when I mean the landscape, I mean the world we live. The world we live is evolving rapidly. So when I talk about evolving rapidly, I refer to economic shift, I, request, uh, I, I refer to uh, technological advancement. I, 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 require, I, refer, I refer to currency imbalance. I refer to societal changes uh, that requires a proactive approach. It requires a proactive approach to planning and executing strategies. So as we prepare for 2025, ladies and gentlemen, success will come. I need you to write this down. As we prepare for 2025, your success will come from a combination of goal setting, strategic planning, consistent execution, and adaptability to market changes. I'm going to take that slowly. I said, if you want to succeed in 2025, that your success will come as a result of goal setting, strategic planning, consistent execution and adaptability to market changes. So I, I, I want to say that you need to be able to align your personal and professional aspirations. That is, your goals should reflect both personal and professional aspirations. When you align this, it will allow for a more cohesive progress in all areas of your life, ensuring that success in one area is actually supporting the growth of another area of your life. Because you are not totally successful if you are not succeeding in all the key areas of your life. Some people are successful as manager. It's on the surface, they look like a successful manager. If you look at their finance, for instance, or for example, their finance is in shambles. They are in total mess, they are in debt. So what have you been managing if you cannot manage your finance at the personal level? For another person, it might be their family. For another person, it might be their health. Now, 
there is a part of health that even if you are proactive, what will be will be that you don't have power over, maybe because of genetics. But there is also the part of proactive living that is preventable. Think about it. So 2025 is a new slate. So goal setting is not enough. Goal setting will not make you succeed as a stand alone. I said you need strategic planning. You need consist my emphasis, consistent execution. Success is not an occasion. Success is a routine. Success is a ritual. And you need to be able to adapt to changes in the market. 2020, 2020 changed a lot of things in the marketplace, COVID. Some of us have adapted and moved on. You will agree with me that there's somebody in your, in your life, in your world, that is still blaming COVID for where they are. Why? They did not adapt. Really, adaptability is an element of emotional intelligence. Some people are just rigid, rigid. Some people are just inflexible. And there's no way you can succeed if you're not flexible, if you're not adaptable. It is what knocked Kodak out of business. It is what knocked Nokia out of business. It is what knocked BlackBerry out of business, not being flexible to changes in the marketplace. So you need to create a strategic plan. You need to create a strategic plan, ladies and gentlemen. You can't afford to step into 2025 get doing guesswork. Only work. Guesswork don't work when it comes to real life. Don't be a drifter in the affairs. Don't be a drifter in the affairs of your life. Don't. You see, men, we can't multitask, eh? So I'm still admitting people. <laughs> ah. So you can't afford to be a spectator in the affairs of your life. So creating a, 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 a strategic plan requires you developing actionable step. So I want you to write that down. Develop actionable step. Write your name, whether your name is Femi, whether your name is Muli, whether your name is Fati, whether your name is Aisha, Aisha, Develop actionable steps. Because the truth is we develop steps, but are your steps actionable? A lot of people, a lot of times, they develop ambiguous steps. So they don't even know where to start from. So they still end up bringing their, goal, uh, their goals, their strategy to a, to a coach, to a mentor, to help them break down. That's for the people that are wise. And for the people that are foolish, because you see, we have the, the, the wise we keep ruling the foolish. We're stepping into 2025. Ask yourself, do I want to be on the divide of the wise or I want to be on the divide of the foolish? So 2025 is not for wishes. It is not for prayer points. Because you see, prayers that are not backed up with actions will not uh, bring anything to fulfillment. Prayers must be backed up with strategic actions. Prophecies don't fulfill itself. I remember that an action was even taken about Jesus to, to, be, to be hidden in Egypt when Herod was killing his age mate, according to that story. So listen to me. Tangible results come from action, and every action requires a solid plan. So that is why we're looking at 2025 Blueprint. Success blueprint, how to turn your goals to a tangible outcome. So in summary, what I'm trying to say in summary is that you need to break down your big goals into smaller achievable steps. And these smaller steps makes your objectives. It makes your objective uh, smaller. And when they are smaller, they are more manageable and it prevents are you from feeling overwhelmed? 
You know, the reason people uh, feel overwhelmed with their goals is because they don't know where to start. Everything just looks too big. And when it looks too big, you don't know where to start from. Now, you might want to ask Dr. Shigo, which one is actionable steps again? Why should I take actionable steps? I'm going to give you four reasons why actionable steps matters. Four reasons why actionable steps matters. Number one, clarity. Clarity. Number one is clarity. Actionable steps provide a clear roadmap for achieving your goals. You know, it is like an architect. And Marcos Aurelio said you are the architect of your life. A building without a drawing. You will mess up the uh, physical structure at the end of the day. An aircraft at construction level, a car at construction level is first drawn on a paper. And why? It is because you want clarity. So actionable steps provides a clear roadmap for achieving your goals. Number two, focus. Focus, actionable steps. They help you prioritize your task and helps you to stay focused on what is truly important. Do you know that, uh, well, it, it's a funny illustration, but that's just what came to my mind. Let's assume you are owing 10 people money and you borrowed money from 10 people and you borrowed it for a just cause this time around, not borrowing in the negative. Do you know that if you don't, and let's say the money is huge sum, huge, huge, huge sums from all of them. If you don't write down their name on paper and create a plan on how you want to pay it, and for the people you are paying uh, instrument, instrumentally, small, small. If you don't do that on a paper, you will mess up and you will get into trouble. But when you, when you clarify it on black and white, you have focus. It helps you prioritize. So you look at all the 10. You look at the one with the short temper. So, okay, so you make it, this is one of the first people I will pay so that I get out of this person's trouble. You look at the person that is most tolerant. Okay, this, this one is what I will pay last. This one is more understanding. Or this is the one I have the strongest relationship with. Focus. Number three, why? Actionable steps matters. Momentum. You need momentum in 2025. And when you create actionable steps, uh, it helps you take consistent action. And one thing I know about consistent action is that consistent action helps you build momentum and motivation. Number four, last but not the least, accountability. Actionable steps hold you accountable for your progress. So when you tell yourself, Oh, I'm writing a book and I want to release this book on the, uh, by December 10. So this is uh, October. So you tell yourself between October 1st and 7th, I want to write the chapters. Uh, second week in October, I want to design the book cover. Uh, third week in October, I want to write chapter one, two, three. And I also want someone to uh, write an introduction or forward. I speak with the person. When you break it down like that, but as you are looking at it weekly, daily, you are accountable and you can take off. Please, are we together? Like I usually ask for feedback. Is the conversation, is the conversation making sense? Yes. yes so this is how... Yes, so this, yes. This, is, this is one of the ways... This is just a minute. This is just one of the ways you can create a success blueprint for your 2025. It's very minute. There are two, three, four, five steps that needs to be considered, that needs to be talked about in detail that I'm not even talking about because we don't have all the time to conversation. So this is like a crash uh, course to stimulate us, to stimulate our thinking, to start projecting and planning for 2025. However, if you live in Lagos, I have good news for you. The good news is that uh, I'm hosting a 2025 goal setting and vision board workshop 
my goal setting session, my vision board session is a no nonsense session. Stay with me very well. Vision board is an art. Putting uh, what you want, pasting. That is what most people focus on. But there is a science of vision board that brings your vision board to reality. And that is the visualization part. That is understanding the place of your subconscious mind. Sometimes people do vision board and in their mind, what they have pasted on their vision board, you are telling yourself, who dash monkey banana? There's no way your vision board can become a reality. So this is a five to six hour intensive session. This is not in October. This is in November. We have 30 slots. Five slots are already gone. And you are the first people I'm sharing it with publicly. I only mentioned it in my inner circle and few people chatted me up. Not only chat me up, they paid. I've seen two of them in this conversation already. Slots are limited. It's not for everybody. It's just 30 slots. It's in Lagos, sorry. But if you can fly in for, to Lagos, why not? You need to take the affairs of your life seriously. You are your best and most important project. 2025, I'm not a, I'm not a prophet of doom. Things will get harder. However, for people that have mastered, have gained personal mastery and intention, intentional living, it will get sweeter for them. This class is 100,000 naira. 100,000 naira, no apologies. Yeah, 100,000 naira only. However, if you're in this class today, right now, you want to attend this class, you live in Lagos, I'm going to give you this session for 60K. 60K deadline that is between now and Friday. You have it for 60K. 30 slots only, only because the facility can only accommodate 30 slots. So this is nothing like a end of the month. I'm thinking end of the month. It is for serious people. It is for conscious minority. It is for people that are saying, Dr. Shogo, I want to be in the top 1% of my own world. I want to be the top 1% in my own industry. I'm not going to overflow that. So you want to take uh, the account details, you can just do a screenshot of this flyer. That is it. You can uh, grab it right away. Oh, I didn't even, I can't remember that I had this. So the last one I did, by the way, was in 2022. 2022. 2023 was busy for me, which means two years. I've not done this masterclass two years. And I've, in two years, I have improved. I have better strategies. I've developed better acts for myself. Uh, for myself. So this is a picture. These are pictures from the one I hosted in 2022. I mean, there's food, there's drink, there's banter, and uh, the visual uh, board session is intensive. Uh, I remember 2022. There were people that said they wanted to relocate. We did the visual visualization together. They are out. They are out. The last person was out this year, a medical doctor. There are people that wanted to buy brand new car. It, the person came to share the brand new car with me. So my sessions are no nonsense session. There was another one that wanted to start a business. Business started. Who you follow determines what follows you. In my personal life, I have results. I'm not aspire to perspire. Uh, sign up for Thrive Tribe. I'm not going to talk about Thrive Tribe now. I'll talk about it. Please remind me later. So let's look at uh, creating a success blueprint for 2025. Creating a success blueprint for 2025. I am sure that you know someone or you have seen people who, who look like uh, the best blessings of life are just gravitating towards them. It looks as if they've never had any uh, issues. They are just on top of their game. They are balling. They are, they, 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 are, they are living the softest of life. I mean, people would taste success wherever they go. You know, when uh, Henry Ford was one of the richest men in America, a journalist asked him that, uh, what if you lose all this? You know what Henry Ford said? 
And Ford said that, uh, put me in a desert, take everything I have, give me five years. I will duplicate everything back to back. That is someone that has a template. That is someone that has a blueprint. I was speaking with members of my inner circle yesterday, and I said, a success that you cannot duplicate is a fluke. So you can't succeed in 2021, and 2022, you are not succeeding. And you say 2021 was better than 2022. No. In, in my inner circle, we don't have a better yesterday. That is my uh, dream for them. And people are rising up to it. We don't have a dry January. No. Because there are systems and strategies and structures that we have placed, put in place not to have a dry January. Some of these things are not positive confessions. If you don't want to have a dry January, you start working for your January in September. On a lighter note, you know that January is three months in one. January is January, February, March, inside January. January is, is metaphorically not 31 days, it's 90 days. So how are you planning your life? Most human beings, they will do 30 December. Then they will live, they will live in debt in January. So imagine how foolish it is to start the year borrowing money. Let me tell you something. Multitude don't succeed. Majority don't succeed. Don't be among the majority. It's a choice. So when you look at these people I'm trying to des uh, describe, like I said, they look like a uh, failure and disappointment. I've never touched them. Well, I can tell you for free that appearances are deceptive. Appearances are deceptive. Are deceptive. From my research and personal contact with such eye flyers, with such people, one quality that I realize that is common with all of them is that they have a blueprint for success and they know how to identify and create their own, their own opportunities in life. So my question is, do you know how to identify and create your own opportunities in life? The quality of the question you ask yourself does what? influences the quality of the answers you get. If you're getting foolish answers, it's because you're asking foolish questions from life. The truth of the matter is that we are all presented with opportunities in life. The difference is that we don't recognize them for what they are. Some of us, we look at opportunities as difficulties. We look at opportunities as threats. We look at opportunities as challenges. Then what do we do? We try to boycott. We will try to boycott it. We try to side sidetrack it. We, we we try to sidestep side them. While some others they grab them and get going. So what I want to do for you in today's conversation is, I want to share five points for you to consider when creating your blueprint. Five things to consider when creating your blueprint for 2025. Please uh, soak, soak it in. Are we together, please? I need responses. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. All right, good. Yes, sir. All right, thank you. So this is very, very important. Okay, for instance, if you want to travel abroad, I mean, this is a global webinar. We have people from different parts of Africa. We even have someone from Russia in this meeting. If you want to travel out to any country, there are factors you need to consider. Do I have the financial capac uh, capability? Do I have the time? Do I have an international passport? So when you are, are preparing, 
your blueprint. I think one thing that will help you is identifying your sweet spot. And that is why I, I said here that differentiation is necessary if you want to experience appreciation in life. 2025, you can't behave like everybody. Like I said, this uh, meeting is for my community members. And I defined my community <laughs> members as everyone in my WhatsApp community. In most communities, can you mute, 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 mute yourself, please? Thank you. Most communities, maybe they are even thinking they are every their major discussion now is how to do dirty December, how to do picnic, how to go to beach, how to go and do party. Is there anything bad in it? No. But it has to be balanced. But for some of them, it is not balanced. So in this place, we play, we party hard, we work hard, we think hard. So imagine differentiation is necessary for appreciation. So differentiate instead of competing. We live in a world of over 7 billion, 7 billion people. So naturally, it is very difficult to come up with either a product or a service that has not been envisioned or implemented already. So this is where the place of research is. You know, uh, in this community, I've mentioned it a lot that uh, we should pay atten attention to researching. Uh, and I said the most important G is God. After God, the next, the next most important G is Google. So you need to do research. You need to just know what is called innovation. Innovation is doing things, old things in a new way. So you want to ask yourself, what is that little extra something that will make people remember me? And by the way, your fingerprint, out of all these 7 billion people, you are the only one that has that fingerprint. Your tongue your tongue print is only you that has it. No other person on the surface of the earth has that kind of your tongue. Yeah. I'm a fan of uh, Nat Geo Wild. And on one of the episodes, that particular episode dwelt on zebras. And I was shocked to realize that all the zebras in the world, none of them has the same stripe, the same pattern. It is different pattern, different arrangement for all zebras. So why can't you differentiate mental laziness? Actually, I've answered it for you. Mental laziness. However, if you want to step out and step up in 2025, differentiation is the name of the game. In 2025, uh, sorry, in 2015, I have a lot of witnesses here. So there's no case of uh, Dr. Shogu has sweet mouth, uh, this guy gets sweet mouth. No, I have more than one, more than two, more than three, more than 10 witnesses here. In 2015, I sat down. I'm a, I'm a training and development and learning specialist. And I looked at the attention span of people, that the attention span of people is reducing and the world is gravitating towards micro learning. So people are no more interested in uh, taking courses for three months, for 10 months, for 24. I'm speaking, generally speaking. That was when I started doing WhatsApp classes, as far back as 2015. By the tail end of 2015, I monetized it. And I remember that when I monetized it, a lady came to my Facebook page and wrote an epistle calling me a scam. Now, why will I create WhatsApp group? And I'll be charging people to enter the group, the WhatsApp group that is free. Is your perceptive? Is your perceptive? Is your, is your per uh, perception? I don't have power over that. Fast forward to two years after, one and a half years after, people are creating WhatsApp group, monetizing it. I differentiated. During COVID, I was running a series of MBA. I call it mini MBA classes for five days. It, it, was, it was called a uh, personal growth class. A lot of you were there. That class was 2525. Five. But do you know that there were times I had 200 people, 150 people, and uh, paying 2005 two, two every month. 
calculate 2005 in 2020 times 200 people. And in that same class, I will sell one-on-one -on -one coaching. I will do this. I was getting calls and chats to come and facilitate sessions. I was charging for it. I differentiated. In fact, there was one of my friends that mocked me metaphorically that, oh, uh, Dr. Shogo, what's up, Minini? He came to beg for money that you raise him afterwards. So I was teasing him. Is it me that you were saying? He said, no vex, no vex, no vex. So at times, uh, rather than compete, you want to think of uh, differentiating. So I wanted to start thinking about differentiation. My inner circle, we had a conversation yesterday in our learning session, and I brought in a specialist. I brought in a specialist to teach us on importation. Then we asked for address of our office. And I, I was the one that asked specifically, you know what she said? She said, I work from home. I do all this from home. And she showed us some crazy trade secret. She said, I work from home because I realized that uh, wasting rent on office does not make sense for my work, for me. Differentiating. It might be something minute. That's what I'm trying to say. When you differentiate, you create opportunities for yourself. Let me put it that way. You know, talking about WhatsApp class back then, a lot of people were paying and they were telling me that the beauty that why they like it is that uh, even if they can't attend, that they are going for a meeting, that they will come back and listen to it at their own time. In fact, some of them will chat me up, Dr. Shogo, please lock the group now that the meeting is over. I don't want people chatting. And because people chatter, we keep going on. People talking about the feedback, people uh, uh, catching up at different time and minuting on it in the group. Wow, this is what, this is this. So they will tell me to lock, that they want to just listen and read without any interruption. You can create your opportunities. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't want you to just swallow this information. I want you to take it in, soak it in, and look at what areas you need to differentiate. Stop following the crowd, and don't follow the crowd in 2025. Work on yourself, work on your craft, develop and build your niche. Once you deliver, you know what? It will open doors for you, and you can, and, uh, you can take that particular opportunity to grow. So differentiation is necessary if you want to appreciate in 2025. Number two, follow your plan, not your fear. Number two, follow up, follow your plan, not your fear. 2025 will present a lot of opportunities, but woe unto you when opportunities come and you're not prepared. So I want to ask you a question. Do you sit on opportunities? Allowing yourself to be plagued by doubt and second guesses. Tribe Tribe is three years old. I know the testimonials people have shared with me on a personal level. I share it across the general group. There are people that have been telling me for three years, oh, I will sign up, I will sign up. I don't chase them because you don't beg people to succeed. And there are some of us that you lack confidence to follow through and take opportunities, even when they are pre presented to you. So you need someone on your neck. Ah, you go hard though. But if you have plan, it makes it easier when you receive little prompting. So if you are afraid, you see, you, you will not be forced. And if you are not forced, you will be the last. Courage is not denying fear. Courage is embracing fear and moving on despite the fear. So a lot of times, we allow our fears cripple us. We trust our doubt more than we trust ourselves. Ask yourself, why? Why is that? I've taken some dangerous steps in this Q4 already. 
Was I not afraid? I was afraid. But guess what? It is panning out well for me. So this is what I'm trying to say. Instead of focusing on your fear, make a plan. Your plan checkmates your fear when you step, when you take action. Focus on executing your plan because this will ensure that you act rather than the time you spend worrying about uh, your plans. One thing I love about acting is that once you take that small step, one small act will lead to another, will lead to another till it, 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 it culminates into something very big, something very formidable. You know, I tell people that inside your opportunity, every opportunity you take steps on, every opportunity you act on, inside that opportunity lies another opportunity. So your opportunities, they have the capacity to multiply. More doors and more doors will open for you when you venture out, execute your plan and explore. So put your fears aside and begin to act. Act in 2025 before you get into 2025. This is what I am telling you. Let's look at number three. So before we go into number three, I want you to act. Please mute yourself with that, please. So I'm going to talk about Tribe Tribe. Tribe Tribe is my inner circle where I, I, I show my acts, my productivity acts. We have professionals cutting across different industry, cosmetic, uh, surgeon, engineers, um, art surgeon, um, bankers, lawyers. It's a professional community for leaders and anybody that wants to become a better version of themselves. We do, it's a subscription based community. We do monthly uh, reviews, book review, we do quarterly reviews, we do discussions. You can bounce off your ideas amongst brilliant people. It's a resource community that uh, words cannot describe. So if you're saying, Dr. Shogo, I want to step up my game in 2025. I want to become a member of your inner circle. Now, there's a difference between being interested in something and being committed to something. I want you to get it right. I don't want you to be excited. There's a difference between window shoppers and the real buyers. Some people are just window shoppers. They, 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 they massage, they caress the product, and they walk out. Those are people interested. The committed people, they look at the product, they admire, they pay, and they go with the product. So those are committed. So you want to ask yourself, am I interested in my life, or am I committed to generating results in my life? Tribe Tribe, we have people in uh, Congo, Brazzaville, people from Tanzania in, in 2024. We have people in UK, US. It's a very rich ecosystem. We have people in Gambia. So I'm inviting you to 2025, Tribe Tribe. It is, uh, the window is opened and it will close shortly. If you're interested in joining, there's a wait list already. So just chat me on WhatsApp. I'm sending my number now. Yeah, I've posted it. Uh, meeting group chat. Yeah, so if you're interested, I will add you to the wait group. Why am I talking about it right now? It's also strategic and to make it easy for you so it's not sudden. Tribe Tribe is uh, 120,000 Naira for the year. You have access to me in a group setting. It's an inner circle. You can bounce up your ideas off me in the group because other people also will get to learn from it. Divide 365 by 120, see how much it is. It's very ridiculous. We have book of the month. This uh, month, we are reading something on uh, finances. 
and it's, it's a disruptive book because it's a book I've read personally. It's 120K. I'm talking about this now because I'm also aware there are people that might want to pay twice. So you want to pay half in October, you want to pay the next half in November. It makes it easier for you to sign up. And yes, if you want to pay first week in December and balance it, it makes it easy. So if you want to join a Tribe Tribe, just uh, indicate, once again, it's for committed people. I don't want interested people. Uh, something came up, my mother died, and now I don't have the money again. No, I'm not for excuses. This is going into the fourth year. So it's a no-nonsense group. They are adults. They are not kids in that group, right? And it's a vision, and I'm not joking with that vision. That's why I'm taking that time to talk about it in the middle of the conversation before I can go on to the next point. Now, for people outside Nigeria, you can sign up. It is also is two hundred dollars for international participants. And yes, there's a uh, there's there's an account you can pay through a bank account you can pay into. So it's also okay for you to chat me up. You can pay from your country. There's no limitation. I will just give you the procedure for paying in a bank. So just pay through the bank. That's all. Two hundred dollars. It's a dollar account. And uh, in your local currency, I, I guess that you pay in your local currency into the dollar account. That's all. And if you have dollar directly and you have a domiciliary account, you, uh, the transfer can be effected from your account. If you want to see a different results, you have to do things differently. I also have masterminds that I belong, that I pay as high as $2,600. I have another one that I pay $5,000 annually. But the quality of the people I have access to, there are information. I mean, we had a webinar yesterday and a woman came to facilitate for us. I mean, Tribe Tribe. And she gave us a particular website that if not that we belong into that community and we had access to that woman, I never knew that a website like that existed. So the rich will get richer because the information of the rich circulates only within the rich. Hope you understand what I'm saying. The top performer will be only become the top performer because the top performing information circulates only within the community of the top performer. So if you're a low or middle performer and you want to become a top performer, the question you should be asking is, how do I gain access into community of top performers? That sorts it. So sign up and uh, your life will not remain the same. Maybe towards the end, I will share another slide of Tribe Tribe and show you the benefits and what you stand to gain and who Tribe Tribe is designed. So we've looked at, uh, number one, we said differentiation is necessary if you want to appreciate. So I'm, I'm encouraging you to differentiate instead of competing. It's already crowded. Eh? It's already crowded. Number two, let me construct. I know some people will go for prayers. Number three, so number two, we looked at follow your plan, not your fear. So number three, be aware and beware. Be aware and beware. It has to be an element in your 2025 blueprint because you see knowledge is power. So it always helps to be aware of yourself and your surroundings. Do, do, do you understand what I'm saying? The reality, I mean, we have people in Tanzania here. We have people from Russia here in this webinar. That's what I mean. The reality of your surrounding is different from the reality of my surrounding in Nigeria. So you need to be able to value your skill set and take opportunities to develop, develop them. So, for instance, if you want a promotion at work, a good, time will, uh, a good time would be to apply when you know someone is quitting or relocating elsewhere. So for Nigerians... For example, there's an opportunity everywhere with the Japa syndrome, with the mass exodus of people, because there are positions and vacancy and uh, vacuum in business space everywhere. But the question is, do you have the competency and capacity to fill those roles? So you should look out for chances to showcase your skills at such times. This is very important. When you want something, what I realize is that the whole universe will conspire in helping you achieve it. But the question is, 
do you even know what you want are you aware then are you are, are you aware that is of yourself then beware of your surrounding another thing you need to be to be aware of you need to be aware that every opening every opportunity is also not your opportunity you need to use discretion Every opening is not an opportunity. It is possible that some road will lead to dead end. So you need to have foresight, 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 beware, foresight, foresight, foresight. You need to be able to weigh the cost and benefit before you throw your art into the ring. It's an element, it's a factor. Beware, your wife is going to deliver in January. They are giving you an opportunity that will suck all your finances and make the new baby suffer. Beware, that's not an opportunity. Since the day. Please, don't hesitate to take action. I have given two opportunities today, Tribe Tribe, we'll look at, look at the goal setting. If you sleep on it, you, if you snooze, you will lose. Earlier in the year, in fact, January, I spoke with members of my inner circle, Tribe Tribe, and I mentioned that if you want to get the best out of every new year, I don't even know what I'm telling you guys. One way is to work with a sense of urgency in January. Treat your January as if it is December. Why do you think that there's so much rush in November and December? People are trying to meet deadline. Why? Because they have been snoozing all along. They've not worked with a sense of urgency. Success loves speed. I wrote about that in uh, during uh, the last week in our community. You should go and read it if you don't have access to it yet. It's on Instagram, on my Instagram page, and it's also on my LinkedIn page, Dr. Shugo. Because you don't know when opportunities will come. I love the motto of Boy Scout. I was in Boy Scout in my primary school, and the motto of Boy Scout says, be prepared. Be prepared for opportunity. What you anticipate, what you expect, you experience. Be prepared at all times. Seize the day. So uh, keep your eyes and your mind open to taking chances, to exploring. It might not always come in the package that you are expecting. It might not always come in the package that you are used to. This is very important. The next number, all right? So the next number, before I go to the last number, I guess, I'm talking, of, I'll talk for the benefit of people that just joined in. I'm hosting a 2025 goal setting and vision board workshop for people living in Lagos and people that can fly into Lagos. It is a no nonsense goal setting class. Is it, it is not a class that we are saying what is what are goals, uh, what is goal setting. No, it is not elementary. You will look at the subconscious uh mechanism behind goal achievement. People know how to set goals, but people don't know how to achieve their goals. People don't know this uh, self-sabotaging uh, thoughts. So these are some of the things we will look at before we even set goals. Vision board is not about cutting and pasting. Vision board is understanding the concept of visualization, understanding the power of your subconscious mind, understanding the power of consistent visualization. People said uh, people do vision board and they go and keep it somewhere they don't see it every day. How can you achieve what is on that vision board? What you see is what you become. So the class is just for 30 people, is on Sunday, 10th November, 12 p.m. Some of you will say, yes, I'm going to church. I'm not religious. You can go for first service and come back. You can worship online on that day and do chap chap and attend. People just give excuses why they should not succeed. And that is why we have a lot of people not succeeding. 30 slots, five slots taken already. We have five slots left, uh, 25 slots left. And I gave an offer of the class is 100,000. Um, it comes with food, feeding, any, and uh, stuff like that. I'm giving it out for 60K. Between now and Friday, 
take the phone number, uh, take the phone, uh, the account details. If you are in, just the, and if you want to do the sign up right away, do your sign up right away and lock it, lock it down. Commit. Stop approaching your life casually. I have mentioned it over and over in this community. If you approach your life casually, you will end up as a casualty. You do what is easy, your life will be hard. If you do what is hard, your life will be easy. So you choose. We have the pain of regret and the pain of discipline. Choose your pain. There's no way you want to grow that you're not going to grow. You're not going to do what, it's not going to come easy. That is why at times when you see successful people, appears as if uh, they are brutal. Number five, increase connections with people rather than cards from them. Increase connections with people rather than cards from them. Whatever it is you want in 2025 is in the hand of someone. Think about it. But the question is, are you positioning yourself? Are you putting yourself in the midst of people that are likely to have what you want in 2025? If you look at the average person's uh, social media account, you will find an extra, extraordinary number of friends listed on, 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 on their connect. So you are not, uh, a lot of people are not bereft. A lot of people are not bankrupt of contacts. But the real question is, how much of a connection do you share with your contact? Members of my inner circle, they will understand what I call emotional bank account. I did not create it. You can't withdraw from an account you have not deposited in. It is about connections, not just having contact. It was Aristotle that said something. He said, he who has many friends has no friends. So uh, you don't need business card, but you need useful links and connection with at least few people. Because it's also Pareto principle. 20% of your effort generates 80% of your results. It is 20% of your contacts that actually carry what you want, what you need. But the question is, are you wise enough to identify that 20% are you wise enough, even if you don't have them, are you wise enough to identify and put yourself and establish a connection with that 20%? This is, you have to be responsible for your life, for the outcome of your life in 2025. The pen, the paper, they are both in your hand. You can't afford to put the, the pen into the hand of life. You, have, you can't afford to put the pen into the hand of another person. When you have people you have a connection with, you exchange information with them, you exchange value with them, you form bond, uh, you form, this, form a strong bond, and you help them create opportunities. They create opportunities for you. You think for each other, and this will open gates for more and more opportunities to flow in your way. If not, you just be part of the people saying that networking is not working. Me, I tell people, if you are not networking, you are not even working. So if, to, take, to maximize opportunities in your life, to maximize opportunities and create them in uh, 2025, I need you, number one, be accessible to people. Number two, you want to volunteer and help people. Number three, be prepared to take risks. Number four, be flexible in your approach. I was sharing with members of my inner circle yesterday. Things I share in my inner circle, I don't share in general meetings like this. But I just take bits occasionally and share in meetings like, like this. Yesterday, I was saying that I found myself, I'm gravitating towards helping younger people. And when I mean younger people, people 30 years below. And I said one of the reasons is that you don't know who we blow. And if you chase them and they blow under somebody else's guidance, it will pain you that, ah, I would have been able to boast, to brag, and to also say I helped a life blow. Ah. 
Oh, Lord. So, um, um, let's look, look at this. If you want to go and pray, you can go. But you can connect with me, Dr. Shogo. I'm on Instagram at Dr. Shogo. If you're not following me, you're meeting us for the first time. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn as Dr. Shogo. Set me out. If you don't belong to any of our WhatsApp community, that's my WhatsApp number. Plus two three four eight zero seven seven five five triple two zero. That's my number. If you want to join Tribe Tribe, that's also the number to uh to to check. Then that's my website. Just chat me up. We'll add you to any of our WhatsApp community where I teach for free. It is free. If you want to join the wait list for Tribe Tribe twenty twenty five, chat me up that you want to join Tribe Tribe. I sign up for Tribe Tribe, and I will add you to that particular community as well. Right, that's my website if you want to check out my website. Now a quick recap. Someone is asking in the chat room, what's the other two? I told you I will up upload this video on YouTube. Yes, and I promise I will. I said, uh, be accessible, do volunteer work, be prepared to take risk, be flexible in your approach because it will help you recognize opportunities and tweak it to suit your needs, right? So uh, let's do a quick recap. 2025 Success Blueprint, we said it is very important for you to create a strategic, uh, no, 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 no. This is where we started from. We said the landscape is dynamic because the world is changing. We have technological advances. We have uh, economic shift. So it requires you to be proactive in your approach. So proactive in planning and executing strategies. I also mentioned something here that uh, your success in 2025 will come not only from goal setting, but from strategic planning, from consistent execution and adaptability to market changes. Now, consistent execution, life happens. You have to understand motivation. When you look at motivation, there's internal and external motivation. So what is truly driving you? When what is driving you is superior to the challenges and obstacles, you will be able to sustain momentum. But the question is, a lot of people don't have vision. They're not visionary in their approach. There's a visionary element in goal setting. So when your goal setting is too surface or you are copying somebody else's goal, then it's easy for you to be swayed. Then it is easy for you to be swayed. Consistent execution is the key word. That's no grief for anybody. Let it take it to 2025 again. But you will not grieve for anybody only when you know what you truthfully want. And I mentioned that ability to align your professional and personal goal gives you holistic success, right? Then we looked at creating a strategic plan. And I mentioned that actionable step. That was the only uh, thing I mentioned under it. And I expanded it that 2025 is not for wishes. It's not for prayers. It is not for fasting alone. You need to be able to take, you need to be able to take corresponding action with it. You need to be able to back up your prayers with action. And I mentioned that even prophecy, they prophesy to you, you will succeed. You will do this. Prophecies don't fulfill itself. Tangible result comes from action. And every action requires a solid plan. So the question is, do you have a solid plan for 2025? Then I mentioned to you that uh, why you need actionable step. Why do actionable step matters? Why am I talking about actionable step steps? And I mentioned four elements. Clarity, because of clarity, because of focus, because of momentum, and because of accountability. accountability. And I gave people living in Lagos an offer that I'm hosting a masterclass on goal setting and vision board creation in Lagos. Only 30 slots on the 10th of November. It's for 100,000. You heard me right. If you are in your mind, if in your mind, your mind can't accommodate this figure, you're not supposed to be in this class. You're not supposed to be in my space. Because you have, there's something fundamentally wrong with your subconscious already. Except you choose to raise yourself, your mind to that vibration. 100,000 naira. And I gave an offer for one week between now and Friday. I will give you for 60,000. You guys have my phone number. 
you have access to me, you have the bank account details. It's protected, it will get sold out quickly. And I showed you pictures from uh, the previous session. Then we talked about uh, Tribe Tribe. Let me share something with you. Uh, let's go to downloads. Let me quickly share this with you, uh, Tribe uh, PDF. Okay, so let me share this. There's something wrong here. Cancel. So let me bring this down. Yeah. So let's do. I come here. Yeah. So uh, zoom. We're back here. So let me share something with you quickly, everyone in here. So let's uh, try. Try. Yeah. So share. Try. Try. I'll just. I just want people to get it right. I want people to get it right. So view. Yeah, where's full screen? So yeah, full screen here. Yeah. Right. So this is Strive Tribe, which is a Dr. Shugo exclusive inner circle community. And um, the introduction is that uh, I want to move this up. If you're looking for a space where uh, your ideas can be nurtured and your potential is unleashed, then Strive Tribe is the uh, is the club you should join. It is an inner circle for professionals, for entrepreneurs, for leaders that are committed to continuous growth and excellence. And it is led by world-renowned coach and leadership expert, Dr. Shogo. All right, so what is Tribe Tribe? Tribe Tribe is not just a network. It's an intentional community that is designed for high achievers. So if you want to connect, if you want to learn, if you want to grow, this is an opportunity for you to meet like-minded people from different background, you need to expand your mind. Uh, you want to access life-changing knowledge in a curated space for development and advancement. Tribe Tribe is, it, it is. Tribe Tribe is not just a community. It is a movement that is designed for leaders, business owners, and professionals that are determined. So if you want to grow, if you want to transform, and if you want to make life a lasting impact, you should think about Tribe Tribe. By the way, uh, we do investment, investment opportunities that we maximize. There's a thrift. Uh, that helps people, that encourages savings and helps people pack money in bulk. It's running into millions of naira because we have different clusters, right? So there's also that. These are some of the advantages that you can uh, uh, maximize in Tribe Tribe. What else? So uh, what do you expect, what to expect in Tribe Tribe if you join the community? We have mon monthly learning session that is usually led by Dr. Shogo. Occasionally, we bring facilitators, books and movie review. Uh, like I said, we do investment opportunities that are vetted. In fact, the other day, I shared some investment on a particular app for people to maximize. Yeah, I do that. Now, growth acts and, and life skills, I do that. Ac accountability and support. So these are the one, two, three, four, five. Five things to expect from Tribe Tribe. These are pictures of our Lagos Hangout and some members of uh, Lagos Tribe Tribe. Yes, these are still pictures from Lagos Tribe Tribe. So why should you join Tribe Tribe? Exclusive access. So you have access to me in a group setting. You can ask your questions in a group setting. Professional networking. You get to meet correct people, better people. Then holistic growth. Because Tribe Tribe is not just uh, about your career. It is about every area of your life. It is what you draw, what you choose to draw out from that community that you withdraw out. Right. I can open the door for you. What you do with the door is your choice. So whether it is personal development, whether it is financial freedom or leadership effectiveness, uh, Tribe Tribe will help you grow from inside out. So who should join? Every driven professional seeking for growth and advancement. If you are a business person, you are looking for uh, strategies to scale and investment opportunities. Leaders that want to sharpen their skills and expand their impact. Lifelong le learners that you want to become a better version of yourself. So that is that. If you want to join, like, like I said, annual fee is 120,000 naira for members in Nigeria and international members, it is $200. Uh, if you want to make payments and you're in the international space, just chat me up. There's, uh, we have a uh, provision to, we have provision for your payment to be easy. Right. So guys, 
uh, then we looked at uh, creating a success blueprint for 2025. Then we looked at differentiation. We looked at uh, following your plan, not your fear. We looked at seizing the day and uh, increasing connections. So that is that. I will focus on this right now. Um, so in case we have any questions, you have questions, I will take uh, two questions or three before we close. Any question, please? Any question, any inquiries? Let me stop sharing. All right, so um, Dr. Shugu, thank you so much for your delivery. Um, for me, I have um, one um, clarification I want to make. I think during your delivery- Kepta, where are you talking from? Where are you speaking I'm from? from Ghana. Oh, you're Ghana. speaking from Ghana. Yeah, I wanted to confirm. Thank you. Yes, please. Okay, so I just wanted you to clarify the four genes for me. I think you did mention that um, if uh, you want to start out something, you have to do, you have to go by the four Gs. So I think I heard something like Google. No, 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 I no, no, no. So I said, if you, yeah, if you, I said, uh, if you, I was talking about research, that uh, we need to research. And um, if we want to go, if we, when you are differentiating, I talked about research. Then I said the most important G is God, right? And after God, it is Google. So with Google, you can research when you look at your X factor, I call it X factor, how you can maximize and make profit with your X factor and uh, creating a, a, a new niche for yourself to make some money, you can use Google. Yeah, I mentioned that. So that's when I mentioned the two Gs. G, first G is God, the second G is Google. Right. Any other question? All right, thank you, sir. Any other question? So, um, if you're signing up for Tribe Tribe, or you're signing up for for the goal setting class, you can uh, reach me. I want to appreciate everyone. I want to appreciate everyone for showing up. Please hold. Dr. S. Yeah, did I, did I hear my name now? Mohamed is saying uh, just a big thank you for yeah. what you do. Thank you very much. Ah, Engineer Kola of God, it's good to hear your voice, sir. I've missed you. It's good to have you in the webinar today. <laughs> Okay, so um, thank you, everyone. Let me stop the recording. <laughs>